This is your new Himaway Cruiser e-bike. Let's start assembling. Take the accessory box out of the package and make sure it contains those components. Find the keys located on the saddle and remove them. Use the key to unlock the battery. Remove the battery to avoid damage to the battery during installation. Check the battery status. Safe way to charge your battery. First, assemble the charger and insert the plug into the transformer. Then, insert the DC plug of the charger into the battery charging socket. Last, connect the power plug to the power socket. Handlebar installation. Rotate the front fork so that the bar for installing the front light is facing forward. Loosen the bolts on your bike stem. Center your handlebars and rotate them to align to the marking pointed to. Tighten the bolts in the order to the handlebar stem, but don't tighten completely as you may want to further adjust the angle later to align more precisely. Tail light and rear rack installation. Secure the tail light and tighten the nut with your hex wrench. Remove the four screws from the frame. Align the bolt holes of both your rear rack with the hole on the seat stay. Then, reinsert the bolt through all holes and tighten the bolt with a hex wrench. Use zip ties to fix the tail light wire to the frame. Front wheel installation. Carefully flip your bike upside down for the front wheel installation. Remove the front fork's protection bar and the plastic axle guards. Align the fork dropouts with the axle of the wheel hub, making sure the dropouts are fully seated on the axle. Remove the thumb nut and one of the cone springs. Insert the quick release skewer through the hub. Tighten the thumb nut and then use the palm of your hand to close the quick release lever. Pedals installation. Please note, Indicators for the right pedal, R, and left pedal, L, can be found in two places. The stickers on the plastic cover and the bottom of the pedal threads. Start threading the pedal and rotating in the direction of the pointer shown on the crank. Headlight and fenders installation. Please note, if you prefer not to have a front fender, you may install the front light by itself. Use the bolt and washer to fix the headlight in the frame. You can find the bolt extractor inside the tool. Tighten the bolt with your 10 mm wrench. Please note, pay careful attention to the arrows on the wire connectors, making sure the arrows align with each other to avoid damaging the interior circuitry. Connect the light wire connectors together. This is the spare bracket. Tighten the bolts, attaching the front fork to the hub. Seat and Suspension Fork Adjustment Please note, 
Do not extend the seat post beyond the minimum insertion marking etched onto the seat post. Adjust the seat post height by sliding the seat post up or down to a height. Find the lockout knob on the right side of the fork. Adjust the suspension fork by turning the lockout knob. Brake disc guard installation. Remove the bolts on the chainstay. Put the bolts through the disc brake guard, then tighten bolts. Before writing. This is your battery serial number. Write down the battery serial number inside the front cover of this manual to facilitate failure reporting.